Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have just a little bit of a challenge for myself and it's less of a challenge, it's more I wanna put guardrails around today's collage. So I have this pretty big piece of paper here. It's 11 by 14 inches and I know what you're thinking, Rosie, that's not a very big piece of paper. And I agree with you, but I think normally when I collage, I tend to just use a background image from a book and they tend to be a smaller size. And when I do end up using a piece of paper like this, it's mostly just to add a bunch of white space around a piece. And today I want to collage on the entire piece of paper. I wanna fill this thing up with images and do something much larger than I normally do. The other thing I wanna focus on today is using as many images from my cutout images binder that I can. So I fill this binder full of images that I've cut out and I haven't used for a collage. And I wanna do this for a few reasons. One, it will just be a little bit easier because I've done a lot of the hard work and of cutting out these images already. But also I think I tend to just start in books and cut out more images and just put them in this binder and they tend to never get used again. And this way maybe I can get a lot of the images in this binder out into an actual piece and actually use them today. So that's sort of my plan. I wanna use a big piece of paper and fill it with a ton of images from my already cut out images binder. So let's see what we can make. At this point in the process, I had a zero plan, but really just wanted to put a bunch of elements on the page and find some funny combinations. So I put a half a shark on top of half a skull and put a rainbow coming out of its mouth. Really just sort of lay out a bunch of elements and see what I could make. I put a car on top of a bird because that makes a whole lot of sense. I even tried putting a bunch of campers on top of a frog. Again, just having a silly time, being wild and free, and just going with the flow. I also found these eyeballs that I had cut out out of a magazine at one point, and they were just too large and so funny, and I had two of them, so I had to cut them out and add them to the piece. Am I accidentally making a face? I, <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. I'm not sure yet. So I do think we've compiled some fun things here. There's some fun combinations going on, but I do think I need some larger elements, either buildings or mountains or some larger things to help create layers and we'll use those to tuck the other elements behind. And so I pulled out my buildings folder and my landscapes folder and we'll look through those to see if there's anything in there we can use. But right now we just kind of have a bunch of weird objects and <laughs> so I think we need some other elements to create a scene.
I wanted to take a second just to talk a little bit more about why I wanted to do this exercise. Sometimes I think that my collages aren't enough of a collage because I only use two, three, maybe four images in my pieces. And I sometimes worry that people might think my pieces are too simple. I know it's not really the case, but it is still something I worry about sometimes. And I think I felt like if I did something completely in the opposite direction, there were things I could learn from that experience that I could take forward into my next pieces. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna change my style. I make pieces that are bold, clear, and poignant. And I think that they're the most impactful that way. Anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts and feelings. Let's get back to the video. So this collage is pretty different than what I normally make, but I am finding some really fun ways to hide the transitions between images. So I think this bird up here is a good example of this. Right up here I have two background images next to each other, and obviously there's this line here where they intersect. And I'm just, you know, using the bird to cover up that line and, you know, that kind of makes the backgrounds that are different okay to be next to each other. And then I also think this hot air balloon is covering up this seam really well where this building image ends. And so just put the hot air balloon right over that. And again, it just helps create your, you know, the ease between one image to the other. I think that there's still a lot of areas I still need to work on. I want to do something here where this hand just cuts off. We gotta clean that up. Not sure what I'm gonna do there. And then this area, I would really like to integrate the doll's arm into this arm. And so the doll goes straight into the green bean scene. And I feel like that integrates that well. I really like that. Oh, down here where the rainbow is, I have two different backgrounds with this line. And I think we can just cover it up with the rainbow coming out of the doll's eyes. So this is definitely way more chaotic than I normally make. It's pretty different, but I'm kind of liking the fun things that are coming out of this. And I think there's a lot to look at. It's very colorful. So I think there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. So I guess we'll just keep going forward.
So this is the collage that we made today. I think it turned out really fun, but it's super weird and makes absolutely zero sense. But there's something about it that makes me want to keep looking at it. I think because there's so many pieces and there's so much going on, there's always something to look at. So it's kind of fun just to stare at. The other thing I wanna know is this isn't glued yet, it's just taped. I think that this is gonna take a little bit longer than time I have right now to properly glue because of how many pieces there are. So tape is gonna to have to do for right now. Also, this is pretty different than my normal style. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this and whether you like it or not. But that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next week for another collage video. Bye.